Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new BMW M5. And in the cockpit, our race driver, Mr. Brian Watts. Welcome. You've seen him before, right? Brian, what an amazing car. And furthermore, it's a car with a history, right? Well, it's not a car with just any history. It is the history maker. It is the founder of the segment, High Performance Luxury Sedans. And with this, we've been doing this for over 27 years, and it got started as quickly as possibly it could be. With Henrik von Kuhnheim, he needed a car for his security guards, actually, to keep up with him in his 7 Series. And uh, I couldn't have a 7 Series, but they needed to overtake him in certain uh, dynamic and dire situations. They came to BMW M. What happened? We made our first BMW M5, and since then, it's all been history. Well, so tell me, what's so special about the new M5? What part? <laughs> well, let's start with the engine. Well, the engine, um, we have went from a V10 to a V8. Now, I know some people will say, you know, we've, we've gone and reduced. But I know that some, maybe women would, would, would agree with me, the size doesn't matter here. <laughs> uh, actually, we've been able to increase the horsepower by 10% on this car, so we're up to 560. Um, what we've done as well is uh, we've increased the range, also the fuel economy as well. We've uh, done 30% less fuel consumption on the car, uh, on the opposite end, uh, increased the torque by 30%, so we're up to 680 torque on this vehicle. Well, and of course, there are way more amazing technical details, but we'll learn more about them tomorrow at the racetrack. Right now, I would love to learn a little bit about the philosophy of the M5s. Well, the philosophy of M5 is, is to make the best even better. We, we label this internally the untouchable, because exactly that's what we wanted to make. We wanted a car that can raise the benchmark once again in the fifth generation. So, like I said, if I have an engine here that's very strong, doesn't make sense if I do anything to the rest of the body. So actually, a BMW M is not a tuning kit. It's actually it's a 80% redeveloped car. So what we did, we added a MDCT as well on here. So a seven-speed DCT. Um, we reinvented the M differential, which is already a great, great differential on the back to handle all the, the torque that actually we produce. So we have zero to 100% going left to right on the back end. Um, one further advantage what we, we gave for our customers was to, in terms of comfort because at the end of the day you need this car for everyday purposes. I mean it was born under the Nürburgring but uh, you need it for your offices or to pick up the kids or whatever. Uh, we were able to, to adjust the settings as well. So we have M1, M2 settings. You can actually set different options within the M settings. I always say at the end of the day maybe you cannot change the settings of your wife but at least you can do this with your car. Well, that's actually a really nice sentence I once read in the BMW magazine. It says, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. That's actually a good conclusion for that car, right? Well, Sarah, I uh, totally agree with you on that one. It's just, it's a car that keeps growing on you. It keeps, I mean, I've had it for three months, personally been driving it, uh, also to the office and to the racetrack. It's an amazing car with an amazing uh, setup in it. Um, I probably am the typical M3 driver just because of my age, but every time I drive this car, I find out something new about it, I find out something unique about it, and every time I get on the racetrack, once again my hands start sweating, you know, the pulse starts beating, and that's what it's all about. M is the most powerful letter in the world, and this car clearly represents this. And so I hope, no, I will cancel that, you will see that tomorrow. Thank you very much, Brian Watts.